How's things on the streets? Of, where are you, London? Folkestone, which is where you go to take the Euro Tunnel to Paris. Right, because you're on your way to Paris to do a gig, right? Correct. Yeah, that's it's right. Pretty, pretty exciting. Uh, and you, yeah. and, and you just did one in London uh, for the release day. Is that right? Yeah, we yeah, played London, week. London, Birmingham, Glasgow, Dublin. Where else? But did you say Birmingham? Yeah, Manchester. Manchester. Yeah, and now we're doing the continental European days before we go to America. Gotcha, gotcha. So how are the shows going? Yeah, really great. good. Yeah, really good. really good, yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time without having any shows, so it's good to get back on the saddle. Yeah, well, here in Auckland, there's no shows happening anywhere. Everything seems yeah. everybody's just like doing nothing, so it's, it's very frustrating. <laughs> yeah. So what's the vibe like at the gigs there? been Good. really positive yeah. yeah everybody's been really seems really excited to be out at shows again and um you know there's a really a, a nice sort of atmosphere in the crowd everyone seems pretty grateful that we've come and we're pretty grateful that we're even back doing this so yeah it's been lovely yeah. right Good and I, I do have to ask you i saw that your itinerary and you're due to go through europe and poland and all that are you kind of looking at what's going on in ukraine and yeah. Possibly yeah. yeah, we are a little bit plans. nervous about that. Yeah, yeah, for obvious reasons, we're nervous about that. But um, we're just going to take it, you know, day by day, see how it goes. That's kind of how we have to do things now is just take it day by day. Hope none of us catches COVID. Yep. Hope things, you know, in Poland are fine for us to play the show. So, yeah, we'll just see how That's we crazy. go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, hopefully we can talk a little bit about making the record. Uh, yeah. What, how far? How long ago did you make the record, and under what circumstances? We we handed the record in on September first last year. Okay. Because yeah. that's how long we needed for the vinyl to get manufactured. Right. Right. Uh, oh yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah. Um, and and I mean, it's hard to say when we started it because some of the songs, like there there are a couple. There, there's one song on on the record which started years and years and years ago and it just took us a long time to, to finish it so yeah it's a mix of stuff and, and so how do you guys work together are you all in one place or are you all, all spread all over the planet we're all spread yeah especially during lockdown. <laughs> yeah 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 we've never lived in one country when we've been <laughs> a band we're all from new zealand but right we've never, yeah yeah so, so uh, is, is there a plus and a minus to working like that Yes. Yeah, for sure. I think the plus, and we've, we've joked about this before, is we obviously it's a downside too, but we can't have weekly band practices. Like we aren't seeing each other very often. So when yeah. we do see each other, we're more excited to see each other. We don't get sick of each other in the same way that you might if you're forced to go, you know, rehearse with a band each week. And, um, you know, it's, I think it's just a different set of circumstances. When we don't see each other for so long, we're always so excited to. So, yeah. It just makes it really difficult to do stuff like videos and yeah. press photos. Yeah. We sort of have to do them album cycles in advance. Right. Yeah. So we did the all the photography for this album in 2020. Yep. When we were touring, yeah. we're about to tour the um, the last album, which of course got cancelled. So and yep, we didn't yep, yep. we didn't actually know at the time too. We just were doing a shot. A photographer contacted us. He wanted to do a shoot and. Um, we ended up, yeah, we really used those. We really needed those photos. We didn't realize how useful they'd become because obviously we didn't see each other for two years and we couldn't get together to take photos for the new album. So right, um, right, yep. it, was a, it was a good call in hindsight. <laughs> We're very lucky. So the videos, there's like a series of three of them that are all directed yeah. by Alex Ross Perry. Is that right? Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. So so who is he and what, tell me about the video making because that's kind of interesting and yeah, yeah, everybody can mm. watch him at home. Yeah, so he's a, a an American director um, who's produced like proper Hollywood feature length films. He did like Christopher Rabbit and um, <laughs> one of the other ones, um, Golden Exits, and uh, Her Smell is one that he did yeah, with uh, um, Elizabeth Moss. Right. Yeah, he approached our label and yeah. basically just said like, "I'd love to do some music videos. Can you?" <laughs> you know, let me know if you've got cool. bands and want videos. Yeah, and um, uh, other guitar spaces, keyboards, Josh, he lives in New York, so he was on set with Alex while they were making the videos together. Yeah. 
give them the old thumbs up. And I see there's like a trio of, of actresses that kind of appear in all of them. Do you know anything about them? What they're there for? Why are they there? We don't really know. <laughs> we kind of just left it all to, to Alex. Yeah. yeah we, and he, well, he, he did say to us, you know, he knows um, a few people who could pull, you know, he kind of maybe called in a few favors um, from a few, um, like, I think it might've been one of them, one of the act- actors he knew. And then she had her friends that she then said, Oh, I'll get these guys on board as well. So yep, yep. yeah. But apart from that, we did kind of leave it entirely up to him, which was kind of nice just to, you know, leave it, yeah. trust, trust somebody else with the process for once. Yeah, definitely. Whatever. Definitely. And I see that the part three of the series is for the song Astral Projection, which is probably my favorite one on the record as far as songs go. So maybe tell me a little bit about the song itself. I love that guitar sound that you guys got on it. That song is probably the one I was referring to that's been the longest in the making. Okay. Um, it was one that I think Josh wrote an original de- demo for just after we started. So like 2013, 2014, so like many years right. in the making. Um, originally, it was like a like a, like a dance song, an electronic, right? like very heavy electronic song called Hot Dog. <laughs> which didn't have any lyrics or anything and then over the years we worked on it over and over again to try and turn it into a proper song and like tried different chord progressions different lyrics different melodies and, and we could never do it until finally we decided to um do a version where we didn't have any choruses anymore and we just had that guitar line and then finally it clicked into place so mm-hmm. it's our first song without any choruses but <laughs> yeah, it, it's that's it's it's cool that way. Mm. Right, right. And, and songwriting wise, how are things working with the band these days? Is is Josh the main driver, or do all four of you take part, or do you kind of take turns with it? How does it happen? It's Josh and Charlie. It's you two right. together, kind of starting the tracks, and then um, me and Olivia kind of come in a little bit later in the piece. Like I'll come in when we're kind of working on melodies and vocals and then like i'll have some say on structure and sometimes we change that and olivia will add drums and record that she recorded all the drums remotely right charlie and josh like on a zoom call like <laughs> listening in so yeah, yeah it's, but i would say that the way you know the way the songs start and then ultimately in the production and you know the way they finish i guess is mostly um josh and charlie mm. and their mastermind you know, songwriting genius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big brain over there. Yeah. So, big brain. so Olivia, what is that like having to do your drums like that? Because usually the drums need to kind of be there. It feels it always feels that way anyway. You know, in the yeah. room. So. Um. um uh, what was I going to say? I think this worked really well this time because I've recorded drums for just truth or consequences, right? But right. Charlie. Josh and Christy weren't, or Charlie and Josh um, weren't present for that. But this time, yeah, they zoomed in and there was a lot of like input um, in real time via the internet. Feedback straight away. Yeah, yeah. Which was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was like good and challenging. Um, <laughs> <laughs> good and challenging. There you go. <laughs> but it was, it was good in the sense that like, I don't know. It was a way to you could make last minute calls and decisions and choices. And then, I mean, you you would kind of cut my drums up, right, a little bit as yeah, well. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. not I don't so know. much. Probably not as much as on the previous yeah. album, I would say. Yeah, this so one's like probably the most faithful. And, this is the first yeah. album where we've had Olivia playing on every single song. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. And I feel like most of them are pretty faithful to what you originally yeah. would have played. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Start we to wanted finish. to have more of like um, a rock band sound rather than like an electronic bedroom pop project. Yeah. yeah. So okay. Was- gotcha. And then, and Christy, since you're the vocalist, you have to find something in the song to connect with, to sing the song. Yeah. So how does that process work for you? 
Do you talk to the guys um, about the songs or do you just kind of read the lyrics and go, okay, this is what it means to me? Yeah, I think because we all work quite collaborative with the way we write the melodies and the lyrics anyway, it's usually something that we only really do when we're in person mostly or that I'm with in, in person with at least. Like I recorded a lot of stuff just with Charlie um, to finish the album off because Josh couldn't leave the US because of his visa. He couldn't get back in. Right. So it was just a through- and he was on Zoom, so he was having input. But um, we kind of just, I mean, if you've just got a track with, you know, an instrumental track, um, get in the booth, just kind of hum things and sing weird words until something kind of sticks. Sometimes, though, they can bite you in the ass and you end up with, like, so many different melodies. And we all like so many of them. And then the hard part sometimes is actually just making the decision of, this is the best one. And then from there, we usually will write lyrics in it to kind of fit, either to fit that melody or to, you know, or maybe based off of the lyrics that you might have been singing in a scratch vocal anyway. So, yeah. Right. And it sounds like you have a few guests on the record. There's a sax player on Mona Lisa. I assume that's not one of the four of you who's playing that. Yeah, we had lots of guest players on this record. It was our way to like um, travel and be co- collaborative while right. we couldn't mm. do any of that stuff under lockdown and can tour and stuff like that. So I think we wanted to, um, for this record, we really wanted to make the most of making a record to meet new people and, and make new contacts. So we we got lots of sax, clarinet, um, violin, cello, um, guitarist, pianist and stuff like that to, to play whenever possible. And um, we got different mixes for the first time. It, it wasn't just us mixing it or, or one person mixing it. We had three guys and a new mastering engineer who's done like Daft Punk records in Paris and things like that. Right, so we right. really, and, and it was all just because we, we wouldn't be able to do this stuff normally, like in, in normal times when we were touring and stuff like that. So um in that sense the pandemic was like a blessing and a curse because it gave us more time to do stuff but yep. because yeah. we had more time we sort of like went way too deep in some of the songs and had too many <laughs> versions and stuff like that but right. once we had the deadline of september 1st that's when we we were able to focus and <laughs> get things gotcha started. gotcha so is that andrew keegan playing on honestly it's fine is that the piano? honestly it's fine First it was hard with all we connected Hate to say it but I need the brakes on Waste another week and make it tough boys Or we feel enough the numbers from the asphalt Andrew Kogan, yeah, yeah, he's playing on quite a lot of songs actually he, And he's done that with us for the last couple of records He's right. a good friend of us Yeah, right. he plays sax um, sax, piano, guitar. Oh man! Um, yeah. yeah, he's an amazing like multi instrumentalist. He's really good at just like finding like a nice little flourish or a nice little line to add here and there. Like, I think it, his what he added made such an amazing difference on some of the songs. It's really beautiful. And so, when you bring somebody in like that, do you kind of direct them as to what you're wanting to hear, or do you let them hear the song and let them go from there? If we try. I mean, Josh Josh went to L.A. and did it with him in L.A. Um, uh-huh. And I think they had a pretty nice time, you know, kind of figuring that stuff out. But I also feel like in the past, we've just kind of let him try a whole bunch of stuff. And then we pick from what he's tried and, pick, you know, pick the parts we like. And um, he's really, uh, yeah, I think he's probably the one that we definitely are like, we trust you, your vision, try some things and we'll go from there. Whereas some of the other musicians we got involved might have been more of a direct request of we'd like you to do something like this or follow this melody line is that right charlie you're yeah. saying you kind of like you know they would be more specific but with andrew because he's a friend and you know we we trust his talents on and you know he kind of understands our music i think quite well at this point, right so he usually yeah. comes in right at the very end just yeah. to add the flourishes, and little flourishes yeah, yeah. 
Appreciate Just make it sparkle a little bit. Yeah. Very good. So you're on the road. You're heading over to Paris, which is exciting. And then the States, are you planning on some New Zealand dates? Yes. Yes, we are. Yeah. I don't know if we're allowed to say when they are yet, though, but they come. <laughs> well, all right. They are yeah. The year. Yeah. <laughs> Second half of the year. We could say that much. Yeah. 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 No, that's exciting. And and so is it different for you playing in New Zealand than, say, the States or Paris? How, you know, just from a personal point of view? It's been, yeah, it's New been Zealand. so long since we last did a proper tour of New Zealand, so it's kind of hard to say. But I would say in the past, it you know has varied wildly. Like some shows are very people are very chill, and then in other shows we've played that people have gone crazy. So I think it just depends on the night and the city, and you know the mood everyone's in at the time. Maybe if it's like we're coming out of COVID, and hopefully things are getting a little bit um, less stressful for people. You know, we might have the same sort of response we're getting here where people are just excited to let loose again. Right. All right. Sounds like it's all happening. Good luck with the show in Paris. It should be exciting. And I hope the Poland thing comes off because, you know, yeah. <laughs> man, you. You, you just never know what's going to have to you have to worry yeah. about these yeah. days. But uh, thank you for taking time to talk to me. I really appreciate it. Thank Thank good you. luck with everything. Hopefully we'll see you here sometime soon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. All right. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Have a good day. Thank you.